Um, yeah, NC State's always just so tough. They're just tough, and we've gone. We came off of two road, you know, wins that um, we had a little bit more freedom of movement. I'll just put it that way. And then at NC State, there's no freedom of movement. They just don't allow you to move. And so it, it becomes a real physical game. It becomes a game where if you you just look at your first option, your offense, they're not giving you it. So you have to have a little bit of patience, and we did not. Um, in that second quarter, first quarter, I thought we had a brilliant game plan. Everyone on the same page, second quarter, off the reservation. Started the third flat. And so we had about 25 minutes of good basketball. Uh, fortunately, that was enough, but there were 15 minutes where we just we weren't making a lot of sense, and we weren't uh, helping each other, and we weren't encouraging each other, and we didn't have great body language. But you got to give credit to NC State for that because they they frustrate you, and they they, they do a great job of coaching. Um, Kiki was phenomenal um, and very much vocal, very much into it, asking questions in the prep, making sure everyone was on the same page. We thought we could establish a Mesa. They started doubling her, but I thought she had big buckets. But more importantly, I thought a Mesa's defense in the fourth quarter on a lot of really close contested shots um, really bothered them. And so uh, these two were phenomenal. And Kelsey Marshall's being a real nice shot maker for us. So, But they scout. We followed the scout. In the fourth quarter, they ran a couple of plays that we had prepped, and uh, Coach Fitz did a great job on a base on a sideline out of bounds play um, that really helped so um, but the players really knew the personnel and the scout and that kid for them um, Erica Cassell 24 that's the game of her I mean she was phenomenal and we couldn't keep her off the glass so we were we were real concerned about their traditional offensive rebounds which is Nelson and Leslie and we held them off but then they came with the a sub that just really dominated and they were missing a player who's a great rebounder too so 24 was the story of the game for NC State Erica Cassell <coughs> Questions? How about um, Taylor Mason? How is uh, she doing? Obviously, she went out of the game. Yeah, we went back to her a little bit, so I, I just need more information on that. But she was able to go back in a little bit, so that's good. Well, at the third quarter, I, I, I didn't want them to keep their composure. I was like, throw a fit. Have some emotion. It, you know, I asked them to have a pulse and a heartbeat. Um, you know, obviously, I went on the court and got a technical, which really would have been costly. But uh, I don't get them. I don't think I've gotten one in God knows how many years. I didn't say anything inappropriate. But um, my team would have had my back, you know. But, uh, you know, sometimes um, you got to light a fire. And that was not the right time for me. But luckily, we escaped. Um, I was just thinking that we all got to step up. Like with Miami, you never know who's going to have the game. And Erica been carrying us the whole season. So nobody, I, don't, I really wasn't thinking about that. I was just like, I got to step up. I got to do what I got to do. And <coughs> I feel like if I started it up, then everybody else would follow. And that's exactly what happened. Anything for Mesa or anyone else? You have 100 career blocks now, over 100. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> it's the double deck. <laughs> I will say, too, something really special about this team is that we can have Erica score zero points and beat a ranked opponent. Um, and that can not make everybody panic, whereas I think in the years past, we had certain players that, you know, couldn't go over. We, the whole world would have been upset, and um, Erica's just so unselfish. She just mm -hmm. on the bench and started cheering for her teammates, and, and, and we, like you said, Kiki didn't even notice. I bet they don't even know Erica didn't score. Um, and as coaching staff, too, we're like, well, Erica's bad. Get her out. I mean, that's, that's just, really, you know, I didn't know if I should put her back in in the first half, but we had the lead. And so, you know, I, I probably knocked her off her game a little bit, but, um, you, did it. you know, in the uh, last road game, you had two fouls, right? And then her second half was amazing because she was rested and fresh. So there's, there's, you never know. You never know.